On August 15th, over eight months after the close of the Kickstarter campaign, the Chino Pants started shipping to the backers. When I launched my campaign, Owen, I thought, hey, you know, I want to do a Kickstarter. I had no idea what I was getting into. In the end, Barley and Bridges shipped 1,146 pair of chinos, 499 white v-neck shirts, 1,887 pair of socks, and 1,272 bags and thank you cards. And while the Kickstarter campaign brought in $43,652, Sim says the production and delivery of all the orders cost nearly $52,000. But he insists this is by no means a failure. You're not going to make money on Kickstarter. That, 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 that was a price for my learning experience. I'd rather do that than pay for um, pay forty thousand dollars a year for business school. After deciding not to join the San Francisco startup, means Sim will return to his traditional clothing production company, the Galati Group, creating an uncertain future for Barley and Britches. But right now, you know, I, I everything's on the table, and w I, I, as soon as we were done shipping, um, there was there's like there hasn't been much work to do. While some backers may have felt the process took too long or complained about Barley and Britches' lack of transparency. This was, from the beginning, an exercise designed to test Sim's direct-to-consumer thesis. And crowdfunding merely provided the platform for the experiment. Broadly and Bridges always was a side project for me um, to see how, you know, coming from the traditional world of manufacturing, I, want, I wanted to get in the front end. I wanted to open the door to the tech space. And um, it was an exploration of not only tech, but also of my abilities um, coming into tech. So I, I, I think... The way it's allowed me to think now, I think much more um, holistically, which was fun, um, but also very exhausting. In the end, the tale of Sim's crowdfunded quest may well mirror the actual product and its lack of dramatic flair. But when you consider that these men's chinos exist solely because he and a small collection of cohorts were able to convince nearly 700 strangers that it was indeed a worthwhile endeavor, these pants, and by extension, Kickstarter and other crowdfunding websites perhaps offers a glimpse into the ways the internet has entered yet another phase of evolution as it begins to allow individuals to take a step outside of the digital world and find footing in the physical one. Christopher Booker, Financial Times, New York. Often referred to as a miracle material, Graphene was invented by researchers at the UK's Manchester University in 2002.